guys um today i'm bringing you the news the breaking news or the perfection estates in oshiroko in ibejuleki and also to give you an update so to speak so yeah please watch this video to the end Perfection Estate is. Perfection Estate is a Bajulaki and it's called, um, some people call it um, Shoroko, some call it Oriko Oriko. However, it is the estate that has the five years out payment plan for housing scheme only. Okay? So, yeah, the title on this estate is C of O. Alright, so some couple of days ago, the company announced that they will be increasing the prices on all properties. So, including this house right here with the five years payment plan and also the um the land so yes all of their prices are going to shoot up from 15th of november which is less than about nine days time or it's this time to this time the prices will be increased now the thing is i will be anticipating this price hike in price because these people are working on this project and it is ongoing so the hike in prices for material is making everybody change their prices and all of that. So, I've, I've, with, with the inflation thing, I've been able to predict that most of these properties will not remain stable in the market. So, yes, hence you see a lot of real estate companies um, beginning, they're beginning to increase their prices. Now, this particular property is a five years payment plan. So, you can buy from one bedroom apartment all the way to two bedroom there's three bedroom apartments there is terraces and there are bungalows so yes because it's also a five years to remember you don't even expect that the prices will remain where it is okay so definitely they will be reviewing the prices almost quarterly but because of the high inflation as well it has also further made it more important for them to increase this almost all the time right and they are running the promo right now now the promo is not on the prices it's on the incentive basically so if you buy this time and you pay from i think from 30 percent whatever it is that you get okay i think it's for 30 percent initial deposit you're going to get a gift some even get a trip and all of that so if you call me i'll give you the details in fact some who bought in early part of the year around easter period when they did the easter incentive promo for clients now a lot of the who won you know some have gotten their gifts all the day five days and all the um, five star hotel and all of that um, luxury hotels and all of that a lot of them have used that ticket but we have some now right now that their visas are just being processed they're going to do experts in dubai so yeah yeah and i might be a couple of clients on that list so yeah it's gonna be white christmas in dubai okay so this white christmas in dubai I've never had the opportunity to do Christmas in Dubai. Everybody keep talking about it. So yeah, we're gonna go to Dubai for Christmas. <laughs> I be good. I'm like, like who, who, who told you guys? Anyway, so let's go outside. Uh, I'm in one of the apartments right now, and um, they are trying to finish up this particular unit, which is. In the block. So this particular block, they're working on finishing it um, in stock so that you can even have a prototype of what to show you guys. So yes, because I was inside, a lot of you will not remember this estate. But now that I'm out, can you guys remember the estate now? Okay. Yeah, this is the estate. So yes, um, this is a block of this is a block of flats. Now this particular block is a two bedroom. It comprises of six units of two bedroom. All right, and this two bedroom, like I said, six units of three, of two, of three floors: the ground floor, the first floor, and the second floor. Now, if you look at the next one to it, also is another six block. So, for the two bedroom apartment and the three bedroom, it's of six block. They started constructing another one right here, right. And then you have the bungalows there and all of that. So yes, what I'm saying is, this is buying into the future. 
Ibajulaki still remains an emerging market. And we know that investors all over the world, they tend to go towards emerging market. And hence, that's the reason why a lot of us have been advocating, we have been, you know, encouraging as many as possible to invest back in Nigeria and also in this part of Lagos, which is the emerging market. Ibejuleki towards Ekpe still remains a high emerging market. The return, the prospect here in terms of any return on your investment still remain largely high. Why? Because of the infrastructures that are coming towards this access. Um, which are usually, of course, a lot of you know about this in fact, but I'm just going to quickly mention them. The Dangote Refinery, the Lekki Seaport, the Lekki Free Trade Zone, and many other multinational investments. We have a steel, a Chinese steel company already here. And guess what? For me personally, I'm, in, I'm, I'm impressed at the level and the progress of work that has been attained at the Lekki Deep Sea Port. This, was a pro this is a project in partnership with a Chinese company and the Lagos State Company. And when a Chinese move into somewhere, you should know the speed at which they work. I really, really am impressed. I'm really impressed with what they are doing there, which also shows that Ibejileki becoming what we want it to become. Or the, you know, it's been anticipated to be one of the third, third la to be the third largest commercial hub in Africa. Now, a lot of people still feel that's going to take 10 years. With what I'm seeing every week in, out, in, uh, in, out, I come here, I know that it's not 10 years. It's not a question of 10 years. It's here. It's going to be here quicker than we know it. So, yes, this, all of this explanation shows, sort of proves that Ibejuleki is an emerging market, which also is spilling over into Ekpe because a lot of the land here has been sold. So, getting large expense of land to be sold to be used that as an estate to be used for infrastructures is no longer um, um available the ones available are not titled so government has taken over those land so until the government is ready to now sell, allocate those land out to private users it is only then you now have some. so hence the reason why a lot are also moving into lekki uh, into Ekpe. again the other reason is because of that road um road uh, rehabilitation that is ongoing is making a place to open up and of course i've said it over and over that one of the key things that drives development into a town or a place is the infrastructure mainly infrastructure is the road construction so when your road network to a place is good trust me it should drive the commerce of that place that's what is happening to your friend right now and then let's talk about Ibejuleki so back to Ibejuleki I've always advised that you should unless the opportunity of investing early in this houses this land in this estate is selling for 10 million naira. and trust me we were part of the people that sold to some people then 2 million naira, and that is less than 5 years ago so imagine somebody bought 2 million naira and is selling for 10 million now without lifting a finger right exactly so yes I want to encourage you to invest in this property. Now, this is not because the property is for sale. No, I'm going to tell you what you stand to gain when you're investing in this property. And I, I want to also encourage you, if you can, to buy as many units as possible. So let me give you an instance. If you own a unit of maybe six bedroom, bedroom flat, six units, you own a block rather, which is six units, right? Just imagine in the future what you will be earning from it i've always explained that the the development in an area would drive the business sense i mean what what do i how better will i put this down so if for instance i say that i want to buy this and start paying why i'm advising you to buy plenty unit as possible is because it's giving you five years payment plan so it's easy to pay for a block spreading over five years if you look at it, you can. You don't have to be paying monthly. You can be paying quarterly. Okay, so when we break down the unit, you will see that it still makes it easier compared to now. So just imagine you want to buy six units of this in Aja. You know they don't have a five years. It's maximum maybe one year or what you get is a ten month. But because you still have the advantage of the five years payment plan, it's better you earn it now. And then wait for development to catch up. So back to what I was saying. 
By the time development catch up to this place, there are a lot of things you can do with this. Apart from rental income, you can also see, largely here, eh, you see all of these flats some of us are buying into investing in some of these flats that have been built around this Dangote refinery. A lot of them will not be used for, for residential. A large number of them will also be used for a commercial. So it's going to be like commercial residential. What do I mean by that? They're going to be rented out mostly as office space. So let me give you an example. If you say you want to rent it out as residential, are you rent it out to me? And I live around here and I decide to turn it into my office. I, and I walk around there and I decide to turn it into an office. What would you do? It's like it has been a commercial. So, exactly. I keep making reference to Lucky Face One and many other places. Who would have thought six, ten years ago, ten years ago, that Lucky Face One would be highly commercialized the way it is? Nobody saw that coming. Nobody. But right now, 80% of Lucky Face One is commercial. They are either turned of the duplexes to one lounge or one uh, boutique or one mini complex or mostly largely office spaces. Renting it out to banks and all of that. So yes, if you invest in this property now, you have you because because it's still a futuristic thing. I understand if you don't get it. I understand if you don't understand it, or you cannot see where I'm going to, or you cannot see where I'm coming. Where you can you have no foresight to read. It's okay, but that's why I'm here to open your eyes to say, hey, as much as you're investing in other things right now, you should key into this because. This has given you a rare offer of five years payment plan. So then the other beautiful thing is, imagine, okay, so I have some clients who bought this two bedroom flat for less than 10 million naira this year. How much is it now? About 14 million or 12 million there about. I can't, I can't say precisely. But they have earned while still paying for it. That's why I love off-plan houses sometimes. While you're still play, paying for the house, the your 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 investment is growing. It makes sense. So check it. Check this out, guys. Before you're done paying for this in five years' time, the value of that this property would have shoot up to nothing less than two hundred percent, if no more. And this is me being modest. I'm so sure that it's been more than two hundred percent in five years. And then, 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 and then. The Dangote refinery, the infrastructures in this environment would have kicked up fully. And then we have a fully operational commercial hub. And that is when you can sit down and start cashing out. So for some of you who are in your 50s, this can be a form of retirement plan. And even if you're in your 30s like me, yes, it still can be. I mean, this is a passive income. At, at different levels, at different stages of our life, we all need to earn passive income. Why is this interesting? Again, it's because you are, you are paying, you have the opportunity to pay ease, with ease. You know, we don't have mortgage system working so good in Nigeria. So yes, this gives you that feel, something close to a mortgage system. And then you just pay, you just own as many units as you can with ease. All right, so yes, the price is going to increase on the 15th of November. Don't forget, unless this now, take opportunity to own as many units as you can. Like I said, the title on the estate covering the estate is our C of O. And the C of O has been ratified, okay? So yes, that's, uh, that's it on, on, on that's the update I have for you guys. And then... Like I said, ensure that you own a unit. I really advise everyone watching me, if you have owned a unit here, congratulations to you again. But if you're yet to, I know some people are still thinking about it. Some have not filled their form, but they are yet to commit into it. And the good thing about this particular housing scheme and the company is that you can drop their, their initial deposit is flexible. Yes, it is. So you just call me and tell me what's convenient for you. We'll work it out. Yes, of course, normally they say it's 30%. They take 10%. They take 15%. It's actually flexible. Why? Because they are aimed into the market. Into the market is that they want to make home ownership as easy as possible for everyone. So yes, they also understand that all fingers are not equal. So if you can, some, someone can be able to deposit 2 million naira, 5 million naira. Some others might, not, might just be 1 million naira. 
okay? Even some will say it's 500,000, they can deposit. So yes, it's as flexible as that. Because the primary goal is to help you own a home. Trust me, you don't have to own these homes so that you want to live in it. Now, this is not just what they have, like I said earlier. They have flats, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedrooms. They also have bungalows, they have duplexes. So there's a lot you can do with this. There's so many things you can do with these things. So just imagine 20 years ago, somebody was giving you this offer in Lucky Phase 1 right now. Lucky Phase 1 is just a mini, it's just a residential hub actually. It's not even a commercial hub. Now it is a commercial hub. Every landlord has converted their houses to commercial because they are earning more money in commercial. But when they built it, it was residential and they were only earning render income or they were living in their own houses. That is what I'm saying. But what is happening right now, what is updating right now in the last three years in Lucky Phase 1 is commercial stuffs. Everybody converting their dual, du the ones on the road, they are converting their duplexes into, into, into a plaza. The ones within the streets, they are converting it into an office. They are renting it out to people using it for offices. You know, Lucky has office without address. So what happened now, what is happening now in Lucky Phase 1 is what is suggesting to investors what they will do with their what, with their investment. The same thing I'm telling you. That what you should do as an investor in this emerging market of Ibegileki and Epe is to invest first. Even though you can have a particular kind of business in mind that you want to use your land or your house for. But trust me when I tell you, God will spare our life and will keep us. You will remember that goodness kept saying it. That it is what is happening around here. The development around here will be the one to suggest to you the kind of, the right kind of business you will do here. Because you will not want to do, whatever you have in mind now might be obsolete. Well, except if you want to be a, build a filling station, of course, filling station is, it depends as well. What I'm just saying is, don't fix your mind solely on a particular business idea. That business idea in five years time, when this place booms, or in three years time, might be obsolete. It might no longer be profitable then the environment will now suggest a profitable investment for you. But the good thing will be that you have invested way before then. So that's the advantage. And that's, the, that's what makes a smart investor. is insight. What makes someone that is not a smart investor with a smart... is insight. Having foresight rather. It's foresight. So please, because I've seen this play over and over where investors will say, eh, that place might not fit what I want. I mean, that place, Ibejuleki, not fit what you want now. What you want now in 2021 might not be obtainable in 2025 or in 2030. It keeps evolving. So yeah, bottom line, invest as much as you can in this as is. Own as many apartments as you can because it's a five years payment plan. Don't forget, by next year, they won't have five years payment plan anymore. We're still using the word five years because we're in 2021. And the goal is to deliver this project, all of it in 2025. So by next year, it will be four years payment plan. So as it keeps increasing, the number of years that you can pay, the duration will reduce. So yes, still take advantage of part of the first um, investors here. And next this five years payment plan. Thank you so much. My name remains Goodness Usman. Of course, I'm your fab lady realtor for Nigeria Realty 24. So yes, enough is enough. Stop watching. Um, give me a call now. Let's, you know, give me a call now. Don't call me on the 16th of November. I come and tell me, Olu Aye Dobale, go and Dobale and beg that they, they give me at the old price. No MD is ready to listen at this time, especially those buildings. The building material, all of these things are too expensive. The cost of living, everything is expensive right now. So, yes, please, please, and please. You see me in the sun sweating. I'm begging you, I'm Dobaleing for you now. Call me. Reserve your plots. Reserve your rather your units here. Because if you want to buy a land here, it's terminal. So yeah, I'm talking about the housing scheme. Reserve as many units as you can. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you guys when you give me a call or you send me a WhatsApp. Whichever one works for you. All of the numbers scrolling on the screen. By the way, you see the prices on the screen, right? Yes. So all of the numbers scrolling on the screen are personally handled by me. And of course, they are both on WhatsApp. So you can reach me on WhatsApp. So let's just take a a look around, let's go see the gatehouse again, see the road and all of that. So let's, let's go, let's go.
Okay, so this is the gatehouse, people. So yeah, you guys have seen the gatehouse. As usual, in the gatehouse, the gigantic gatehouse, the world that looks like world of the tree. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on your notification button. And next this time, we stick to oh, just that one week. Take um, advantage of this current price. Thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video. But right now, I really have to go, like I usually say. So I say, oh, double.